Today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use a relay and hook that up to a fan and your DIY BMS version 4 for cooling. So stick around and welcome back again to Rick's Gadgets with a little project I wanted to show you that I did on my DIY BMS power wall. So as you can see here, I just added these pin headers to the control board and this can kind of accommodate up to four relays, but if you, you can use any number of combination, you can use singles or doubles or, or the four. And here I'm just using a single and it just takes the three wires, the ground in and out. And what I've done is I've split my negative lead coming off of my bus bar and that controls the power going over to this fan. And I'll eventually mount this on the side or back of the wall to pull in the fresh air. And if you want to, this is what Stuart was recommending, doing the four-way. So that way you can control fans or control shunt trips for breakers to disconnect, you know, on higher or low voltages. But the, what I've done was I just used the negative, which is the black here, and the red, which is the power, and the yellow is the control. And that is all you need to set up for the controller. So now let's jump over to the software and I will show you where you would do the configuration at. All right, so here we are in my BMS uh, web page. And take note here, the temperature is 26, 25 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and set it just right above this temperature. So that way I can put my fingers on it and show you how the thermostat will trigger the, the relay. So we want to go into your settings panel and in here is where you can set the individual probe and let's just put it down to 28 degrees and I'm going to save and we've saved it. Um, these are all the others that you can control within here, you know, communication errors and all you do is you just set the relay one, two, three, four. I just set them all on, but, uh, Technically, you only need relay one on, and by default, they're all off. And when it turns on, you'll see this go red. Um, so when my pack voltage, I mean, uh, temperature goes above 28, this will turn red. That'll let you know that the relay should be active. But outside, actually, on the relay itself, there is a red light. So now let's jump back over outside, and I will show you how the relay turns on. So here we are outside. And I'm just going to put my fingers on the temperature probe here and get the temperature to warm up enough. And you should see the fan kick on here in just a minute. It takes a, a few seconds for it to, to read. I don't know what the cycle time is that it picks up. But there you go. You can see it's on. And like I said, you can tell the relay's on because it's got an extra light on it there. And what I've done here is I've taken my finger off and I'll let it cool off. And you'll see here in just a second, that second red light go off on the relay, knowing uh, that it should shut the power off to the fan. And there it went. And you go back over here and the fan's spooling down. So like I said, what I wanted to do is just kind of show you how I'm going to provide some cooler air into the, to the setup here with the relay connected to the board. And I've 3D printed this cover and I'm going to put this on the side put a little screen under there and that way it'll keep the rain stuff off. I'll put some sealant on it, but allow the, uh, the, the air to, to get into the system. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you like it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And I hope you come back and check out my future videos and look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks. Have a great day.